What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And um, today, I had to bring you over here because this is one of the topics a lot of people been asking me to do. Um, a lot of people been asking me this. Now, I'm not doing this for the internet fame, for the views or anything like that, but this is a case that I do believe uh, impacted the culture in Chicago. Today, I'm at the crime scene of FBG Duck Death. Um, it's kind of crazy because uh, when I talk to people out here, it's kind of crazy because a lot of people out here looking at me too. But when I talk to a lot of people, they kind of find it confusing that he can lose his life out there. Uh, look, as you can see, it's a lot of shopping centers. Uh, you got like Chanel across the street. Uh, you got like all kind of things out here. You got Louis Vuitton store. So in my opinion, this is a place people come to to, uh, to shop. This is a place people come to to get out the hood because they know the violence out there. You can't really shop in the malls, especially like in Calumet City at River Oaks Mall or at like the mall downtown. You can be spotted in these events to have a lot of people and shit out here. So a lot of people come down here to kind of shop. Uh, according to the police, Duckhead left his house uh, to go back his son, I guess, a present for his birthday. I guess he bought some socks and a uh, T-shirt from a store called Milano's when I guess he noticed some fans walking there, but they weren't really fans. They was on some crazy tough guy shit, and I think Duck noticed that. So I guess something happened in the store where he left out. I don't know if they put him out, if they told him he couldn't stand here. I heard he wanted to go in the back, things like that. But uh, I guess he left out drove around the block and came right here, okay? As you can see where this guy is uh, spray painting the water at, this is actually where Duck was shot at out, out over there. Um, we gonna actually walk over there in a minute. Um, he was outside talking to another fan. He had a young lady with him. When some guys from the corner pulled up, seen him, it was four gunmen, two cars. They built out the car. Next thing you know, black, 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 black. They get the blinking all over the place. Um, the police said it was over 17 shots. So I guess Duck was hit with a lot of shots in his body. Um, it was a man that was talking to Duck that later on come out to find out he was just a fan. He ended up getting shot. Uh, a lot of people been trying to get information on him to talk to him to see what went on, but we under the impression that he didn't really know Duck. He was just a fan. Uh, the lady that was with Duck, I believe, got shot in the hand. Word on the street, she also returned fire. Um, it's a crazy situation. The gunmen ran west, so I guess when Duck got shot, they ran straight down here, okay? Um, I kind of find it surprising because I don't really see gang members out here. This is like an area where people shop. This is a high-end shopping center. People don't really come out here, but let's be honest. You know, he was involved in a lot of street shit. Uh, he was involved in like street wars and things like that. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of find it surprising that you could get spotted down here and someone can make a call that fast and come get you. I'm not saying it can't happen. I believe it's, it's just something about that whole thing that's a little backdoorish. Now, don't get me wrong. I do think people can get the drop on you, you know, if you're down here shopping and it takes a long time. If you want some in and out shit, maybe they can't get you that fast. But if you want some just out here lingering shopping and out here hours, somebody will make that call on you. And I'm going to tell you, because I done been in places where I've seen a lot of famous uh, rappers and upcoming Chicago rappers who never knew that they even seen me. But, um, Crazy. We're gonna actually walk over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, man. How you doing, big guy? Yeah. Got like Tom Ford. You can see. You can see Tom, man. You got Dose Cabana. It's one of the most famous stores ever. That's why we had to come out here and check it out. But uh, right here. Look, kind of get these cars right here in this parking lot. Kind of got those cars. Like right here is the area, as you can recall. Come over here. As you can see, an area like this, a person will walk this area and not be afraid. They wouldn't be scared because you don't really see hoods. You don't see people gang banging. You see like across the street, look, it's people in front of the stores. They got security or concierges and shit in front of the store. Um, it's just like this is an area where you wouldn't expect someone to lose their life. Um, 
I was told that the killer's son went this way, son went this way. It was two cars. I guess the cars picked them up and they got up out the neighborhood. And you guys remember, Duck was a famous rapper. A lot of people know Duck, so it could have been anybody involved in this. But I'm not going to lie. He was in a popular ongoing feud with certain rappers. We all know his career showed them same diss songs towards the same group for a long time. So a lot of people kind of pinpoint them, but I can't verify anything like that. I wouldn't want to make up any rumors. Um, it's a sad situation too. We actually on our way to Zach TV uh, crime scene. We're gonna drop that in the next video. So I want y'all to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be the first people to get that. You cannot miss that out because I'm not gonna lie. Those are one of the cases that kind of really pissed me off to be honest with you. Uh, I feel like that dude helped a lot of people in Chicago and we should find some justice for him. I know a lot of y'all gonna say, man, we ain't on that kind of shit. We ain't finna tell this some street shit. But look, Zach was monumental. I kind of look at him like a legend in Chicago. And we don't treat monumental niggas like regular garbage ass dirty niggas on the street. You feel what I'm saying? We gotta get some justice for Zach TV, some justice for his family because I can see Zach right now on his Instagram and on his video saying get justice for you. So. Uh, we on our way to that next crime scene. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate the love. And I want to tell you, uh, I done talked to a lot of people who told me that FBG Duck case is close to being solved. I talked to a lot of people who told me that um, it's been people brought in and questioned about FBG Duck case. I was told that it's cameras all around. Look at this shit, bro. It's cameras all around here, bro. Come, come, come here, man. It's cameras all around here, okay? All right, there's cameras all around this place, all right? There's cameras all around this place. I believe they have the footage of what happened to Duck. I believe they have uh, questions answered. I believe people didn't gave them suspects. I believe his family didn't told them who they believe did this. I believe the streets told the police who did this. I believe they have cameras of who did this. I just don't think they have the smoking gun. Someone who's willing to testify and say, that person y'all see in the camera in that blue hoodie that got his face hidden and shit like that, that's dude. Until someone's willing to do that, I don't think this case will ever be solved, in my opinion. So, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But I do think that they're working on this case, though. Because they are questioning people. And I do believe that, unfortunately, this case is so high profile. And a lot of people want answers to this that I think somebody could get in trouble. Maybe get caught with a dirty gun. Maybe get caught involved in some shit that could get you a lot of time, right? And then they say, hey, I got some information if that'll help me out. I think something like that can end up happening, you know? It's a lot of telling on the streets, but I do feel like Duck Case could be solved. Then again, I feel like it couldn't be solved. So I'm not doing this video to show any disrespect because I respect this mother, Lashina. I think she's doing a positive thing, and I respect you too, Big Clout. But I had to come out here and do this because a lot of fans been asking. But if you can see Dose Cabana, this is the place with Chicago rapper FBG got lost in life. It's the homie shoot teller the street reporter.